Look, man, you think I'm buying the bed straight out or on the pavement plant, right? On the pavement plant, right? It's the point. It's the point to everything. See, I'm offered, say, $800 in credit, right? Right. But I have how long to pay it off, right? And I done paid off other bills last year and working on paying off a couple of credit cards this year. But again, a payment plan, right, means your money is going to that particular thing you just bought. But say it's $40 a month, right? <laughs> well, you'll pay off the bed in how many months? Five months, right? <laughs> it's how I bought some of the furniture I got in the house, right? It's called a payment plan. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, being in debt to the payment plan, right? See, I'm buying what I think I need for my house, right? I don't know if I need it or not, but you buy certain things, right? Like a couch, a TV. If you're a musician, you buy a guitar. And you put it on what? Layaway, right? You got at least four payments, right? Or three payments, right? Even if it's $100, that's just $33 a month, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why I got stuff, right? Same with the weights, right? I didn't buy it all at once. I bought it, I bought it on the payment plan, right? Now, Sears is the one that had the payment plan, right? Mm-hmm. So you save up for the... um. Wait by saving twenty five to thirty dollars a month, right? And then in three months you can buy the weights and save fifty to a hundred dollars, say. And you're buying the fifty pound weights, right? All depends on what they cost too, right? I don't remember all the details, right? <laughs> That's why I was able to buy the weights, right? <laughs> Now, trust me, I only got more than 400 pounds, but that's in case I did lift it, not be interested, right? Because <laughs> the shall in months can did lift 500 pounds. That's why. That's why. And I would never bench for us 400 pounds because I know the weight to lift proportion can hurt your neck if you do it wrong. <laughs> That's what I keep telling them ass. Whether I can do 400 pounds has nothing to do with me being a superhero or something silly like that, right? Or my strength, even, right? But any man who's a normal man would have to build up to it. Now, in um, the movie Shattered, right, where Bruce Willis was the hero. <laughs> and, uh, he might have done 400 pounds <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> and, uh, right. Is that where you got the idea from? Right. I mean, 400 pounds is an odd pound. We well, just a bit for us anyway, right? But still, you got to build up to it. You don't start off with 400 pounds, right? No one does. No one does. <laughs> Not even The Rock, right? And, uh, can... Start off with 400 pounds, right? You gotta build up to it. It's not personal, right? Mm -hmm. Or Hulk Hogan or Hollywood Hogan, whatever you want to call it, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think his first name is Terry, right? Right. <laughs> And, uh, right. And the whole point is simply, but I know how do you buy things and why are you in debt? Right? Because you need certain things, like I said, for the house. If you're a musician, you buy what? Music equipment, right? 
to learn to play it, right? All right. <laughs> and I didn't demonstrate that I can play it. I just think I'm really going to want to play it for it. Yes, I don't, I don't know. I'm working on it, all right? So you also ain't got to play it every day to try and figure something out to do next, right? Um, now, if you're being honest, right, even if I played Smoke on the Water on the flute, right, have you ever heard it on the flute before? No, no. <laughs> so again, that's pretty cool, unless you're just hating on me. <laughs> you're hating on me. No. <laughs> And there's no reason for you to hate on him. I don't even know you unless you're my ex shipmates or somebody or an ex girlfriend or somebody or my own son or somebody, right? Who should ha not have a reason to hate me either, right? Or you're one of the crazy doctors who knows you're not supposed to do this either, right? Right. This is just showing the same harassment I got in the Navy and Mom. Having the issue I have, right? See, psychology looks at the issue, not necessarily why it developed or how to really stop it, right? Except with medications, right? They just want to medicate you. Well, that don't really solve the issue. No, no, no. You're not addressing the issue, which was Ben would not let me train <laughs> under him unless. I was gay. <laughs> when I told him no, and he asked if I was gay, he didn't even bother to train me. What does that mean? <laughs> he was quid pro quo in me according to what I learned about that thing. <laughs> I didn't even know it was quid pro quo at the time because I didn't know uh, that would even happen, right? <laughs> but since it did the whole time I'm on the ship, what do you think in stress factor, right? I had, I know, that drove me to hear voices. Reading the Bible, the dream, right? Being exposed to Gnosticism, my new girlfriend, Sheena, at the time, right? Fasting for three days almost, right? <laughs> Her breaking up with me within a month after we had sex, right? Not sure what the hell's going on. I don't know. Having to guess what I did wrong and not sure. Almost thinking maybe I was kind of raped or paranoid about that, right? That's the reason. You heard the voices right. <laughs> All that stress. Going to captain's mass, right? Being put on restricted liberty because I was trying to meet up with Sheena's third group instead of sticking with my third group, right? Which was stupid. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. But I thought I sent one or two her and we were going to be on the same doors. I didn't know. But maybe her tours also, her ship also offered separate tours. And it probably would have never happened, right? But looking back, that's probably what happened. Her ship probably offered separate tours than ours, right? And we would have never met up, right? But again, I wasn't thinking about that. I was romantic and trying to meet up with her and wanting to talk to her because I ain't heard from her in almost a month and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had had sex too and I didn't know if that was an issue, right? I do remember asking her if I got her pregnant or not. I was still marry her, right? Right. Trying to let her know that it wasn't just a one night stand for me. And things like that. I wasn't trying to just hump her and dump her, right? Either. Because mm -hmm. I was taught not to do that to a young lady, right? Whether I got her pregnant or not, you own up to treat her right, you know? 
And other than that, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> All I know was um, after we left Sicily, I get the breakup letter, a dear Tina letter. And she uses even a different name. But, but maybe that's why the shit made that, that letter get through it. If it was a different woman, right? I don't know if we're the same woman. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They weren't blocking the letters. And she wrote me or not, right? But guess who was supposed to deliver the letters? The shipmates, right? But I didn't even... Something they assigned me to do, right? I think EMFM King did that. Who was acting like a nemesis. Right. Like, I'm supposed to know what was going on in his mind when he's the one who's supposed to train me in how to act on the ship. Right. Well, if I acted as he treated me, I'm just a piece of shit. <laughs> he shouldn't have been on the ship in the first place. All right. You see what I mean? All right. That's how it felt. All right. I never should have joined the Navy or get on his damn ship. Because I'm the reason he electrocuted himself, I guess, right? And says, I look like his friend, right? He was probably taking shortcuts with. Which they kind of call that gun decking. It means, doesn't mean you're not doing the job. It means you're not doing it correctly, according to the work card, right? Now, if you only use the work card, you're supposed to show me how to use it with the book. Well, you're only doing half your job, right? And um, you don't show me a bunch of books on the shelf, right? Say there's 30 books on the shelf, and you give me one work card. How am I supposed to know how that works? You don't know. I don't know. Right? I don't know what's going on there, right? If you only give me the work card and the books are on the shelf and I don't know which one to use. And hell, I don't even see you using the damn books on the shelf. <laughs> so that maybe we need the logic circuits. I don't remember all the details. Because <laughs> he still made you do the job, not me. Why did Lieutenant Davis make the whole division do the job that way? You weren't doing it either. <laughs> the only thing it really showed me is what a logic circuit is and how it works. Right. I didn't actually do that job either. I mean, come on. <laughs> Damn. I still don't know how to put one into the elevator or how it actually works in the elevator, right? They did the job, right? And I'm like, well, okay. And then that still helps them more, not me. <laughs> it still helps them, not you, right? right? Not that Lieutenant Guzman wasn't right to be mad because they're supposed to train me. And uh, if I'm at a phone jack, right? <laughs> And it's in the right area. I'm still working on the wrong piece of equipment, right? See, they're the ones who's supposed to check up on me and make sure I'm doing the job right anyway, right? Not, you, not me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm trying. I know you're trying. <laughs> At least I'm in the right area of the ship. <laughs> mm hmm but Lieutenant Griswold knew immediately I was working on the phone jack, right? I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. That is a part of electricity, though. Because <laughs> um, it has to deal with the phone. There's a different department dealing with the phone part of the ship, right? Uh -huh. I forgot what it was called because they didn't don't really train me in either the, that part either, but they did put one of the dudes in charge of it. Right? And, uh, it's like an IT or something, right? I forget. Right? Or an IP, I don't know. Electrician, right.
And that's why I go for my story, right? I might remember something there, right? That might bump into my head. Like when we were being, again, questioned by Lieutenant Guzman, and I suddenly remember the right answer. It wasn't sabotage, dummy, you know, Robinson, right? It was like you're training for the whole time I'm on the ship, but then luckily the right answer popped into my head from high school. <laughs> yeah. All it was, all it was. Wasn't well, planned out either. I didn't know any more what questions he was asked than he did. <laughs> no, no. It's not like me and Lieutenant Guzman got together before and he told me which questions he would answer in the sabotage you by guessing the wrong answer first, right? <laughs> He really didn't remember. I really didn't remember. <laughs> but then the right answer popped into my head, jogging my memory. That's what that's called. <laughs> and it's Lieutenant Guzman who gave us the hint we got the wrong answer. He at least he did that part. <laughs> and then I started thinking about it more than something. Oh, I remember in high school we talked about that. Right? All it was, all it was. I was asleep the whole time, maybe two to three minutes. Well, see, that's the thing about sleep. Or maybe a two to three seconds, even, right? <laughs> the length of time doesn't mean anything if you're falling asleep in class, right? You're just guessing after that. <laughs> two, three minutes, right? Well, actually, that part started after the wreck, but that can be something neurological, but it also could have been aggravated by the Navy, right? Be that we have what? And, uh, watches, right? Especially the 12, the 4s, and then working at least 7 to 11, right? Then going to a lunch for an hour, right? So that means I get very little sleep. Why? I mean, <laughs> well, the 12 to 4 is being you're supposed to go to bed around at least 7 to 8, right? Mm -hmm. But is that a normal sleeping pattern? No. No. So that's another issue that might have caused me to have the final breakdown, right? And hear the voice, right? In 93, right? I'm sleep deprived, right? And trying to cope with everything. A new girlfriend, a new this, a new that. And someone I can't even talk to, who I ain't heard from in about a month. I'm not sure if she's bad with me or not, right? Or what I said wrong to her even. Or if, you know, something she freaked out over me being one of the two witnesses or something. I've been having problems with church folk when I talk to them about that. <laughs> they don't want to believe me, but they didn't believe all the prophets, really, when they were actually here. <laughs> I know. And it's not like the prophet wants to be really right, especially if he's talking about nuclear war and all that, Armageddon and <laughs> World War III. Three, is that what they would call it? If it involves everybody, right? Now, we're all involved in little skirmishes among nations, right? <laughs> Just not the whole world, I guess. <laughs> or are we still in World War Two? It ain't got out of it yet, I don't think. Or something. <laughs> really. Because there are always wars and rumors of wars, according to Jesus himself, right? Men are always looking to capture some other men's property or society and make it like theirs, right? Which, even that's another form of racism, by the way. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Especially if you're still doing people right and wrong, right? Good and evil. Good and evil. Now, your perception of good and evil don't mean the person you're trying to harm see it as you see it. 
By the way, by the way, and I don't know if this makes sense to you or if the reason you're not coming is it makes too much sense to you. <laughs> and you feel like I'm talking about your life, not just my life. <laughs> And don't want to deal with it. <laughs> no. Okay.